and welcome to today's virtual baking class. Now today we are going to be going over a very basic and simple banana bread recipe. Okay, so I'm going to be writing on our whiteboard today. It's very important that all of you take some notes. It can be on your computer, your phone, a notebook. You just want to take notes of the information I'm giving you today so that when you go forward to make your own banana bread, you can refer back to your own notes. We're going to start off with the ingredient list. So these are the things that you need to make this recipe. Okay, now if any of you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I will be reading your pop-up questions as they come up, okay? Okay, so our list today you need. Of course, for banana bread, you need bananas. So, for this recipe, I would say two to four. to be peeled bananas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, two to four bananas peeled. It's up to you how strong of a banana taste you would like for your banana bread. You next need one third cup melted butter. Okay, so one third cup melted butter. You can use some in the tub, cubed butter, as long as it measures out to one third cup melted butter. I personally just melt mine in the microwave for a few seconds. Make sure you're using microwave safe items. <laughs> okay. One third cup melted butter. Next is one teaspoon baking soda. One teaspoon baking soda. Everyone taking down your notes. Okay. Next we have three fourths cup of sugar. Okay. So three fourths cup of sugar for this recipe. Okay. You also need one egg for this recipe. One egg. And similar to the banana, we will be cracking the egg. Please do not put the shell into your banana bread. Okay. So, one egg. We also will be doing one teaspoon of vanilla extract. One teaspoon vanilla extract. Okay. One 
and a half cup all purpose flour one and a half cup of all purpose flour for your banana bread. Okay. And then I'll put one more ingredient here and then I will wipe it off. So our next is one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. A fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay. So let me just go over these before. I erase this board for the rest of the ingredients. I do apologize, my whiteboard is rather small. So, make sure you have written down two to four bananas peeled, one third cup of melted butter, one teaspoon of baking soda, three fourths cup of sugar, one egg, one teaspoon vanilla extract, one and a half cup all-purpose flour, and one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay, make sure you have that written down. Good. And I can reference it back if any of you have any sort of questions as we move on to the other ingredients you will need for your banana bread. Now our board is clean, and we'll move on to one half teaspoon of cinnamon. One half teaspoon of cinnamon. Now, the next recipe ingredient is optional, but I put it in mine, and that's going to be a half teaspoon once more of rum extract. It's optional, but adds just another element of flavor. And then you may also want some nuts, topping nuts, if you see fit. Also, completely optional. Okay. So, so those are the last ingredients we need. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of rum extract. And nuts, topping nuts, if you see fit. Now, for the actual recipe for how to bake your delicious banana bread, that's all we're going to do next. Is there any questions before we move on? Okay. You want to preheat oven 
to 350. Now that's Fahrenheit. Okay, preheat oven to 350 Fahrenheit. Gets the oven ready for us to bake, of course. You're going to want to butter or oil a baking pan for this. It's up to you if you want to use some spray oil or some butter. It's up to you. Recommended size is a 4 by 8 or a 9 by 5, but truly will just change the size or dimension of your banana bread. Any is acceptable. Whatever you have around is acceptable. Okay. Good. So, next. Okay. In a mixing bowl. Mash bananas until smooth. Okay, so in a mixing bowl, you're going to smash the bananas until smooth. I simply use a fork, smash, 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 until your bananas are smooth. Okay. In a mixing bowl, smash your bananas until they're smooth. From there, you will add melted butter. Remember that we melted. Okay, you add the melted butter. your egg, your rum extract, your vanilla extract, and you will stir all of those items together. Okay, so smash the bananas and then you will add the melted butter, add the rum extract, the egg, the vanilla extract, and stir all items together. Okay, any questions here? In a mixing bowl, smash bananas until smooth. Add melted butter, egg, rum extract, vanilla extract, and stir. Okay, good. Again, going to be adding to our mixture. So you're going to add the baking soda, the flour, the nutmeg, cinnamon. And the sugar. So add in the baking soda, the flour, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, and the sugar. Add in the baking soda, sugar, flour, nutmeg, cinnamon, and you're going to mix everything. Mix it together. Stir, stir, stir. Mixy, mixy, mixy. Okay. 
you want to make sure that it's mixed good, all of the ingredients, the dry ingredients, the wet ingredients, everything together in your mixing bowl. Okay, once you're sure that it's nice and smooth and mixed thoroughly, you're going to pour into baking pan. Easy enough. Whatever size you've chose, you're going to pour into your baking pan. Now this is where the optional moment happens. If you want some nuts on top, after you've poured into your baking pan, add nuts on top. There's no set amount, completely optional. I just like to have a little bit of nuts on top of my banana bread. Mm -hmm. So you can just sprinkle some nuts on top of the loaf. everyone following so far? <laughs> Good. It is a very simple recipe. Alright. Clean board once more. You are going to make this for 40 minutes. until toothpick is clean. Now, what does that mean? Good way to test banana bread is to insert a toothpick into the middle of your loaf. If you pull it out and it's clean, it's finished. If there's still some batter on it, it needs a little bit more time. So, 40 minutes is the estimate time, depending on your oven. Mm -hmm. And when you think it's done, just insert a toothpick, and if it's clean, your banana loaf. Your banana bread is done. You will, of course, remove from oven and let it cool. Remove it from the oven, let it cool. It might be tempting, but you do need to give it some time to cool before you slice into your banana bread and have a taste. Okay. Okay. So, is there any questions about today's banana bread? Recipe. Alright, everyone. I hope that you have enjoyed today's virtual baking class. I hope you all enjoy your banana bread and your baking time, of course. I will see you in the next class. Bye now.